Hello everyone, welcome to Brilliant Botany. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing about the classification of plant diseases. Here majorly plant diseases are classified based on seven categories. So now let us study one by one. The very first category under which the plant diseases are classified is based on the part affected. First category says that plant diseases are classified based on plant part that is affected. So in this category, plant diseases are classified into two types. The very first one is localized plant diseases and secondly systemic plant diseases. So first one is localized plant diseases and second one is systemic plant diseases. Now tell me, what do you mean by localized plant diseases? See, localized plant diseases are nothing but the disease. If the disease has been attacked to the certain part of the plant body or if the disease has been attacked to the certain specific organ of the plant body, such type of diseases we call it as localized plant diseases. Whereas systemic plant diseases are nothing but the diseases which attack entire plant body. So such type of diseases we call it as systemic plant diseases. Here systemic plant diseases are being classified into root disease, fruit disease, foliage disease, stem disease in these ways. Okay. So this is about the first category. Now let us move on to the second category. In the second category plant diseases are classified based on population and as well as spread. based on population and spread in this category uh, we have three different types of plant diseases which are classified based on the agencies through which the pathogen enters the host body but have studied that Pathogen may enter the host plant or they come in contact with the host plant through various agencies. It may attack the host through the soil or it may be through the air or it may be through the seeds also. So based on this category, we have been classified this plant diseases into three types. First is soil borne disease. Secondly, seed borne disease. And thirdly, airborne disease. Okay, so in the soil borne disease, the name itself says that pathogen perpetrates through the soil, through the agency of the soil. Here, the main agencies are agencies. So, in the soil borne disease, the main agency is the soil through which the pathogen enters the host plant and the seed borne diseases pathogen enters through the seed whereas in the air borne diseases pathogen disseminates through the air. So in the second category we have three different types of plant diseases soil borne diseases, seed borne diseases and finally air borne diseases. Now let us move to the third category. Yes. So in the third category, plant diseases are classified based upon the signs and as well as symptoms. Based on signs and symptoms. Okay. You might be knowing that when, when you observe the diseased plant, how do you come to the conclusion that it is a diseased plant or it is an infected plant. So 
it is only possible by just seeing the plant surface it may be the affected leaf or it may be affected stem since it shows many uh, symptoms on their surface through those signs and symptoms we come to the conclusion that plant is infected with certain diseases is it or not so in the same way here we classify diseases based on the symptoms or the signs that has been produced on the surface of the host body so we classify the diseases into rust disease smut disease powdery mildew downy mildew wilt disease root rot disease and finally the fruit rot diseases so these are certain classification of diseases which comes under this category based on the symptoms shown by the host plant now uh, let us move on to the fourth category okay so here we classify diseases based on the host affected based on host affected okay so in the fourth category we classify plant diseases based upon the host what type of host that is affected so pathogen may enter uh, several crops they may enter millets they may enter the uh, vegetable crop uh, sorry vegetable crops they may enter the fruit bearing plants they may enter the flower bearing plants based on these host we classify a uh, plant diseases into several crop disease vegetable crop disease fruit crop diseases and millet diseases in this ways okay and let us move on to the fifth category here we classify plant diseases based upon the major causal organism based on major causal organism seen in this is infected plants the causal organism or the pathogen may be bacteria it may be virus there may be mycoplasmas is it or not so based on this we classify that is based on the major causal organism we classify plant diseases into fungal disease bacterial disease viral disease even mycoplasma disease so this is about the fifth category let us move on to the sixth category in the sixth category we classify plant diseases based upon the infection process based on infection process yes based on the sixth category that is based upon the infection process we classify plant diseases into two types one is infection this is secondly non infectious disease infectious diseases and non infectious diseases so tell me what do you mean by infectious diseases infectious diseases are the type of diseases in which pathogen gain entry into the healthy plant from the diseased plant here pathogen or the disease causing agents are transmitting from uh, diseased plants to the healthy plants in this way the infection spreads so this is about the infectious diseases and if you go for the non infectious diseases non infectious diseases these are the diseases which are not caused by the transmission of the pathogens from the diseased plants into the healthy plants here pathogen does not gain entry or it may you can also say that it cannot transmit from the diseased plants to the healthy plants instead then how does the disease caused here so instead of that uh, transmitting from the disease to the healthy plants the disease is caused by some of the abiotic factors so what are those abiotic factors it may be the nutrient deficiency or the excess of nutrition some of the uh, weather conditional changes that takes place in the soil which takes place in the water also even due to the mechanical injuries the disease may attack to the plants so these are the types of the plant diseases The, that is infectious and as well as the non infectious plant diseases in which we categorized or we classified on the sixth category and one more thing i want to tell you 
non infectious diseases are also called as non parasitic diseases non parasitic diseases non infectious diseases are also called as physiologic diseases okay and so this is uh, about the sixth category let us move on to the seventh category so this is the last category uh, here plant diseases are classified based upon the spread as well as occurrence based on occurrence okay so in this category in the seventh category we classify plant diseases into four types first one is epidemic plant diseases secondly endemic plant diseases third one sporadic plant diseases and finally pandemic plant diseases okay yes so these are the four different types of the plant diseases which we classified based upon their occurrence the very first one is the epidemic plant diseases see these are the type of diseases in which the diseases are present more or less constantly year to year getting and so the infection consistency of this type of uh, that is epidemic type of diseases is from moderate to the severity getting and so this type of diseases are seen only in particular geographical area so it may be in one country it may be in one district or it may be in one locality so such type of diseases are called as epidemic plant diseases next if you take up with the endemic diseases these endemic diseases are not confined to the one geographical area as that of the epidemic plant diseases instead this endemic plant diseases are widespread and also you can see that it is a sudden outbreak of disease the consistency of the infection of this type of plant diseases is very much severe whereas in the epidemic plant diseases it is from moderate to the severity whereas in the endemic diseases the consistency itself is to the severity getting and again these diseases again reach to the very much severity level on the onset of the favorable conditions the another name for the endemic plant diseases is epiphytotic diseases next we'll move on to the sporadic plant diseases okay so sporadic plant diseases mainly occurs at irregular intervals even in the irregular locality and at the few instances okay and about the pandemic diseases so the last one is a pandemic plant diseases here there are certain diseases in which they are endemic in one region when the same plant is introduced into the another region that is in a different region the disease become epidemic or epiphytotic so such type of diseases are called as pandemic plant diseases yes i can give you one example to the pandemic disease that is the citrus canker okay so when citrus canker is present in asia so it is an epidemic disease when the same plant has been introduced that means to say the same citrus plant which is attacked with the citrus canker is introduced to the florida it becomes endemic disease so that type of plant disease we call it as endemic plant diseases hope you like this video please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and also never miss an update from me so stay tuned see you in the next video until then take care